Hi, and welcome back. Today, I'm real excited to show you this 2018 ATC all aluminum trailer that we have in stock. One of the things that's real neat about this trailer is that when you look at it from a weight standpoint, it has a 13,200 pound gross vehicle weight rating, and it weighs in at about 5,500 pounds empty so that you can see that you have quite a bit of carrying capacity left over in it. When we built this thing, we did a lot of options on it. In fact, this is one of the most heavily optioned trailers that we've ever brought in. And we really wanted this to be our premier showcase trailer. And some of the features, as you can see, is we've installed a solar panel on the roof to keep the batteries charged. We also installed max air vents so you can run down the road with your vents running on the roof. You can see we've also done the extruded floor inside of it. Uh, here you can see the transition flap, how well it's built when it folds up. We really felt it was important for you to understand, you know, this trailer is quite a bit more money than most trailers you would see in the same class. And I hope as we go through the video, you'll understand some of the reasons why. When you go inside of this, trailer you start to see all of the added features that we've done like the additional loading lights here on the back the LED lights and that's going to make a big difference when you're out at night and you're loading a car on you'll have lots of extra lights here you can see we've got a powered awning so when you're at the racetrack or if you're just out at a car show you don't have to waste time setting up an awning you can just push the button and this awning will come out you'll see the sides are all screwless a smooth sidewall on the side of the trailer we've done polished aluminum fenderettes on it as an added option we did a 36 inch tread plate on the front that was an added option we added extra scene lights all the way around the trailer so you have extra lights. You know, I think lights are very important. You can see here the LED light over the top of the entrance door. And part of the reason that we put lights all the way around the trailer is so that if you have a flat tire on the off side, you can have lighting over there. Here you can see the nice step for the entrance door and ATC's done a great job of putting a gas strut on that so that you can just pull it out and push it in and it locks in both positions. Another thing we've done is installed an electric jack, but the main thing I wanna talk about in the front is that we've done a triple tube extended eight inch tongue on this. And the reason we did the longer tongue is if you're gonna pull this trailer with a motor home, you're going to want some additional length on the tongue so that when you turn sharp, the trailer doesn't get into the back of the motorhome, and that's an added option that we've done. You'll also see we did a light in front here on the jack, so when you're hooking up at night, you'll have a light switch there. Here you can see Austin showing you the short power. Now he's moved in and he's opened the door on the generator compartment. So this is a pre-insulated compartment so we can add a generator in there. It's also a great place to store fuel cans if you don't want to run a generator. Another thing to point out on this trailer is that we've insulated the sidewalls and the ceiling. We've also pre-wired it so we can add air conditioning units to the roof. The holes are already there. It's very simple if you want us to add an air conditioner in the roof. But the big reason we insulated it is, you know, a lot of racers like to buy these smaller swamp coolers and you can set the swamp cooler inside the trailer and, you know, blow cool air through the trailer. And having that extra insulation really adds a lot of value to the trailer. And you won't find many out on the market today that have insulation in them. Here you can see the side exit door as Austin's putting the prop rods, up, prop rods up on it. It's a real nice feature when you pull your car inside the trailer, you uh, can open up the side door and climb out of it without having to climb out through the window. If you watch our inventory, you'll see that 99% of every trailer we bring in has this uh, premium escape door on the side. We just think it's an incredible value that should be on every trailer that we sell. Not only is it a good exit or a good way to get in and out of the trailer, 
It also offers a little bit of sunshade if you just want to put your, you know, camp chairs underneath it. You'll also see that we've equipped this trailer with aluminum wheels. It has a 27 foot 11 inch interior length and the reason we did that is so that you could pull two Polaris razors in and or, you know you're side by side you could be able to haul two at a time in it. And the thing that's often overlooked when people are looking to transport their ATVs is the height. So we've designed this trailer with an additional height so it's an eight foot interior height on it so if you have a lifted uh, razor or Ranger or you know Arctic Cat you'll be able to get in, in and out of it. It also helps a lot, you know, if you want to transport a pickup inside of there, having that extra height is really nice. Here you can see we've installed optional LED um, alley lights, so when you're backing up the trailer, them lights will come on and help you see. Here's another shot of the exterior scene light. Now we've moved on to the Salem two-way vents and there's one at the front and one at the back of the trailer. So you can actually scoop air into the front of the trailer and then it'll come inside the trailer and then exit out the back to help get any gas fumes you may have out of the inside of the trailer. As we move inside, here you can see it. ATC uses a continuous hinge and then they put this rubber cover over it, which really helps if you're rolling a toolbox in and out of the trailer. A lot of other trailers out there have a big gap here between the ramp door and the trailer and smaller wheels like on your toolbox will fall down in that. The way ATC builds their trailers, you're just, you won't, your wheels won't fall in and that's a real big deal to me. As we get inside of this trailer, you're going to notice tons of features. As I mentioned earlier, this trailer has insulated ceilings and walls, but it also has an incredible amount of LED lighting. We installed lots of extra LED lights in it so that you could see very easily. We've also installed over 150 feet of airline track tie down. Now I haven't went around and counted all of the tie down slots, but I believe there's over a thousand different tie down locations in this trailer. And you know, at IWS, we have a long history of, in, of, of being in the towing business. So we've been building tow trucks now for over 20 years in this same location. So we have a really good understanding of how to tie down vehicles. And one of the things that we've learned is having options is really critical to being able to easily tie vehicles down. By having D-rings in the floor and airline tracks along the wall, you can tie down by the tires, you can strap, you know, if you got a haul, uh, you know, a sofa or a refrigerator, you can put it up against the wall and ratchet strap it. It just gives you tons of choices. We've also had an optional spare tire installed in the floor of this trailer. And as you can see, it's a full size aluminum wheel. So if you have a flat going down the road and you change tires, you don't have to have one steel wheel on. We went ahead and spent the money to install a, a aluminum spare. Here you can see the motorcycle wheel chocks that just fold up out of the floor. So if you wanna haul a couple motorcycles, you just flip this up, run the front tire up against it, and then again, if you look at the airline track on the floor, how we, or the tie down tracking, you can see there's lots of ways to tie down your motorcycles inside this trailer. Here you can see we've installed three batteries. And as I mentioned earlier, we have a solar panel on the roof. We also have a 50 amp electrical service coming in. So when you plug into it, there's a built in uh, charger to charge the battery. So you don't have to worry about you know batteries being dead all the time. You can see we've installed a 110 outlet, so if you want to run your laptop from up on the workbench, you've got a great spot to do that. We've upgraded the LED lights underneath the cabinets. You know the options of this trailer just go on and on. And I, as I was looking through the internet, I was seeing trailers that look similar to this one, but when you break it down, there's I don't think there's a trailer on planet Earth right now that has this many options in it. 
You can see the beautiful cabinetry in it and the L-shaped cabinets. All of the doors on this trailer have gas struts on them that hold the doors up. And then they have slam latches on the door. Here you can see Austin's opening up the electrical cabinet on it. I think ATC's done a great job of putting the master disconnect and all the fuses and the circuit breakers up where it's easy to get to. You know, as I mentioned on the outside tour, this is all set up for a generator or shore power. You can power it from your motorhome. Just tons of options. Here's a nice shot of the slam latches, which doesn't mean like a lot maybe to people that aren't familiar with trailers, but most other trailers out there have a latch that when you close the door, you have to push the latch closed a second time. It's just a little bit of an annoyance. Here we slid some of the trays out for so you could see what they look like, but I want to point out all of these trays are full length slide out. They also lock here as Austin shows that you lock the drawers so they don't open on you when you're going down the road. Just a real nice feature. Here you can see the winch that we've installed into this trailer and it's pre-wired to the batteries underneath. Here we're just giving you a little bit more of a shot so you can see what it's like up underneath the cabinet. As you can see, this is a, a worn winch and it has, I believe it's 60 foot of synthetic rope on it. We've also equipped it with two different types of remote controls. Here Austin's showing you the wired remote control, so you can just plug it in right there. Here Austin's gonna go ahead and pull the line out. They call that the mouse hole so that it pulls in line with your car. We've also equipped this trailer with a wireless remote too, completely wireless, so you know if you're have a disabled vehicle or you don't want to drive your car into the trailer you can just hook the winch line on it and operate the winch while you're inside of the vehicle once you winch it into your spot you can just uh, because this has the premium escape door you can just open up the door and get out of your vehicle here Austin's showing you how to enable the wireless winch control ATC's mounted it right there by the door you'll also notice all the switches there uh, by the door you know this trailer has powered roof fence, powered awning. We put we had them put extra switches in so you can turn, you know, the left side exterior lights on, the right side exterior lights on, or the rear loading lights on, and lots of choices. And that's something that we've learned from selling towing equipment and our renegade line of luxury motorhomes as well as our show hauler line is that giving people options and trying to build the absolute best that we can has always worked out very well for us and our customers. You know, when you spend this much money on a trailer, you don't want to have any regrets. And that's what we've tried to do is build the absolute best trailer. So, you know, six months after the purchase, you don't regret it. I don't believe anybody's going to buy a trailer and six months later say, um, well, at least on this one, you won't say, geez, I wish I would have had less lights because we put all the lights on it, or geez, I wish I wouldn't have put a powered awning on it. You know, we've just tried to get rid of all of them. Uh, regrets, I guess, if you will, and build the best trailer. I know I'm going on and on, but I really feel that there's a need within the industry to really convey what all of these features and benefits do. Here we're showing the Salem vent again, so you can see you can open it and exhaust the air out of the trailer or open it the other way and scoop air into the trailer. And these are things that, that I think are just a very valuable um, option to put on a trailer. Here's another shot of Austin setting up the premium escape door. And we have another call out showing that there's a true eight foot of interior height on it. As I mentioned, it helps you with loading in your ATVs or if you wanna transport a refrigerator or tall things, it's a significant amount of money to upgrade the height, but 
if you have a trailer that's too short, you'll regret it continually. Here's a nice shot of the step and some of the things I wanted to point out that we've learned with ATC is just how stout things are. Like when Austin stepped on that step, you don't see the step wiggling. They use high quality door latch uh, retainers right here. Everything about an ATC trailer is quality. Here's a nice shot of the optional extruded floor. This is the same type of flooring we use on our, in the tow truck industry. and. It's real nice, you can just sweep all the dirt one way, it goes right down the grooves out or you could wash it out with a hose. I really like the white walls on it because, you know, uh, in our own ATC trailer we use for racing, we'll use a wet erase marker so we can write on the wall and leave notes, you know, and then just use a little bit of uh, Windex to wipe it off. All in all, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I know I've talked a lot, I just wanted to do my best to help you to understand that there's way more to a trailer than just price. And if you want to have no regrets and own the best trailer you possibly can, I think you owe it to yourself to give this trailer a good looking at. I really want to thank you for your time today and I look forward to visiting with you someday. Thanks again.